here with i am going to discuss the power factor correction and the resonance in the tank circuit so in this diagram this particular branch is representing the industrial load so this particular is drawing both real and the reactive power so because of the reactive power the power factor is coming out to be poor now there is a dictation by the electrical utilities to compensate the power factor to reduce the reactor power burden so they will be connecting a compensator and that compensator is represented by the shunt capacitor here this particular is also forming a typical tank circuit or you can say parallel resonant circuit so we will be discussing the power factor correction aspects and the resonance in the tank circuit with the help of this schematic arrangement so this particular we have already discussed and what we are going to cover the importance and concept of the power factor correction then we will be coming with the resonance so as mentioned that the power factor correction is the requirement for the large industrial unit likewise industrial electrical utilities like say the electricity boards dictate such compensation to reduce the reactive power burden on the system and to reduce the transmission losses so why it is so because the reactive power is not getting translated into the useful tariff but when say the this particular reactive power requirement increases then the quality of the supply gets deteriorated there will be a voltage fluctuations likewise so for bulk customer they are coming out with a novel arrangement that either you compensate the power factor or you will be penalized likewise so how this particular power factor correction is affected it is affected locally so means to say industrial units are connecting the compensator at the load terminal this is connected in parallel with the load so the load characteristics are not getting affected and as mentioned that only the reactive component is getting compensated in this way the overall power factor is getting improved so the point which is to be considered that if the the load is of inductive nature then the compensator has to be capacitive and when say the load is of capacitive nature then the compensator has to be of inductive nature likewise now as mentioned that the outcome of this compensation is to is resulting into the reduction in the transmission losses and the burden on the generating system so this is explained with the help of simple schematic it is forming the two parallel branches so this particular is a rl element because of this it will be drawing a current from the supply which will be of lagging power factor nature this is a pure capacitor so the ic will be 90 degree leading to the supply voltage likewise so this we will be analyzing with the help of superposition where say you can make use of this i is equal to il plus ic so this is the capacitor only and this particular current we have calculated while say we discuss the ac series circuits so ic is coming out to be leading by 90 degree to the voltage this particular is a rl circuit series rl circuit it is forming so because of the series rl circuit the current will be lagging and that lag nature is decided by the impedance angle so this particular can be resolved into the two component one is of the real and another is the reactive so real component is suggesting il of cosine theta reactive component of the load current is il sin theta so these are you can say are all mathematical expressions that we have already studied now the effectiveness of the power factor correction is demonstrated with the help of a an example and that example we considered in this example the improvement in the power factor has been demonstrated where say the 
low power factor lagging load is compensated to the different level of lagging power factor level then to unity and even it is going to it can have the leading power factor also it can result into the leading power factor as well so let's say this particular is the arrangement and the power factor compensator is represented by a variable capacitor so that means this particular industrial load is connected directly to the supply so the il is not changing but this compensator level is changing and because of this the ic which is getting injected into this is also changing and because of that there will be a improvement in the power factor likewise so in this improvement as we have mentioned that uh, the real component is not changing so whatever say the load current which is drawn without compensator here say the ic is zero so this particular is the real component and that particular is original il cosine of theta l now so we will be making use of the two nomenclature one is theta l because of the industrial load and another is because of say the compensator so both are coming out to be the same even say the il is exactly equal to the source current i because the capacitor capacitor current here is zero now let's say we have inject we have used a capacitor and that particular is resulting into the a small value of current so this particular current ic is directed opposite to the il sign theta l which is the reactive current component so in this particular arrangement the net supply current will be the i which is represented by this orange line okay so now you can easily see that the theta which is the angle source current is making with the source voltage is getting reduced if suppose say you are resolving then this particular will be the new current reactive current the load will be drawing where say the real component of the current whether it is calculated with the il cosine of theta l or even say i cosine of theta that will remain the same so here in this the power factor is still lagging because the ic is coming out to be lower than the il sin of theta l the point to be noted that theta is less than theta l however the operation will be lagging power factor nature now let us increase the compensation such that the ic value is increased now what we will be seeing that ic is still not equal to the il sin of theta l so because of say the argument or discussion on the similar line this particular i current drawn from the supply will also be of lagging nature however the theta has improved considerably in comparison to the previous case because ic value is now more however the ic is still lower than the il sin of theta l so you can say theta is improving cos theta is reducing and the cosine of theta will be improving so that will be improvement in the power factor likewise the real power is not changing as such now in this the compensation level is adjusted such that the ic is exactly equal to the il sin of theta l when say that particular is the condition met by the adjusting the compensation then the theta value will be zero and theta zero is indicating the unity power factor operation so in this this is the i real which is il cosine of theta l will be exactly equal to the source current 
So theta 0 unity power factor operation, but please be mindful that this unity power factor operation is achieved while say we have changed or adjusted the compensation level. Now here say the compensation level is further in improved. So the I is now directed such that it is resulting into the leading power factor operation. So although the power factor is getting deteriorated, but the operation will be of leading power factor nature. The only condition here is that IC is greater than IL sin of theta L likewise. So this particular power factor correction we studied for different cases. So in the power factor correction is achieved while putting a or you can say varying the compensation level okay. and that compensator is placed parallel to the industrial or the load. Now the one point which is to be highlighted the load is taken here as inductive so the compensator is of capacitive nature. If the load somehow comes out to be of capacitive nature then the compensator has to be inductive nature like so this we have already highlighted. Now the resonance is a typical condition which is of unity power factor operation. However, the unity power factor is achieved by varying the supply frequency. So this is a different in the previous case the capacitance was varied. Here in the resonance the supply frequency is varied. So now here it is represented with a fixed capacitor likewise. However, the condition for the resonance is the same that I L sin of theta L has to be equal to I C. Now you please be remember recollect that I C is depending on the <coughs> frequency. So J omega CV is the actual expression of the IC. Similarly, you will find the IL sign of theta L. So that particular is giving rise to the frequency dependency. So under the resonance condition, IC has to be equal to the IL sign of theta L. This particular will be the IC. This will be the IL sign of theta L expression. Both are equated and that particular is resulting into the omega R. So that omega R is equal to a square root of 1 upon L C minus R square upon L square. Now if suppose say the resistance value is small, so R will be approaching to the 0 and the omega R is reduces to is reducing to the level of root 1 upon L C. So this particular is the same resonant condition, resonant frequency that we achieved in the series resonant circuit and the parallel resonant circuits. But this is possible only when say the R is approaching to 0, R value is 0. So at resonance, the current drawn by the effective combination or you can say current supplied by the source will be I L cosine of theta L. So this I L cosine of theta L is rearranged into the form likewise. So the I L expression is substituted cosine theta L value is substituted. Now we can make substitution of the resonant frequency as well. So this reduces to a simple term I is equal to VR upon L upon C. So purely when we are put in, seeing this particular what is the net impedance seen by the source. So net impedance seen by the source that will be by the voltage upon current and that voltage upon current expression is giving us the value of the dynamic impedance which is L upon RC. So please be mindful the name here is the dynamic impedance because this particular is not directly connected across the supply terminal but it is experienced by the source or supplied under the resonance condition. The quality factor is the ratio of the capacitor current, compensator current to the current drawn from the source. So that is IC upon I. This particular is expanded into the form and this is resulting into the same expression omega LYR 
as we have obtained for the series case. So although the numerical expression is coming out to be the same, but the interpretation is different. Here say it is IC upon I. So it is dealing with the current in case of series RLC resonance that was dealing with the VL over VR. So the definition of that quality parameter is changing but the numerical value is the same. Now the resonance is also suggesting that it is a parallel resonance condition. So the current drawn from the source is minimum that we have seen in through the various cases. Only the real current component is drawn, the reactive current component is getting compensated. So quality factor here is the ratio of reactive current component to the real current component. But mathematically, these, this but mathematically the same expression is obtained as we discussed previously. Now few examples are considered. Here say a circuit consisting of four microfarad capacitor in parallel with a coil having this particular. So it is simply forming a tank circuit. The applied voltage to the circuit is 230 volt. We have to first calculate the resonant frequency, then the current in the branches, both the branches, supply current and the current magnification that means the quality factor under resonance. So it is having a direct formula omega r is equal to 1 upon lc minus r square upon l square. So all parameters are specified in the problem. We can calculate the resonant frequency. Once say the resonant frequency is calculated, we can calculate the capacitor current as well because the source voltage is also known. We can calculate the load current and the quality factor. So when say we are making a substitution, the results are coming out to be like this. The summation of this IL and IC will be the source current and that particular is coming out to be purely resistive which is the objective of having say the resonance. So Q factor is also achieved likewise. Now a single phase load of 3 sorry 5 kilowatt it is operating at a 0.6 lagging power factor and by placing the compensator it is desired to improve the power factor to the level of 0.95 lagging and we have to calculate the cap capacitor rating likewise. So here say this is the original situation which is let us say corresponding to the 0.6 lagging power factor. This particular is coming out to be corresponding to the 0.95 lagging power factor which is resulting after having a compensator of IC level. So the real power is coming out to be the same. What is the here that uh, the real power is, is specified in terms of 5 kilowatt. So that particular will be V into IL cosine of theta L. That particular will also be equal to V into I cosine of theta. So in that way we will be able to relate first calculate the value of V into IL. Then we will be able to find out the reactive current component. So now the point 0.9 is a lagging power factor. So correspondingly the desired theta value we can note and the new value of Vi can be obtained by having a real power balance as explained previously. So this particular is Vil cosine of theta L upon cosine theta cosine theta is known, Vil cosine theta is known as 5 kilowatt from the supply likewise. So we will be getting this. Now what will be the new bar demanded? That will be the Vi sine of theta. So corresponding to this, this particular will be the new bar demanded. So the difference of the original value Il sine of theta L minus the new bar which is 1.643 so will be rating of the compensator likewise. 
The parallel arrangement of Z2 and Z3 is in series with the Z1 and supplied by a source of 100 volt 50 hertz. The numerical values are given likewise Z1, Z2 and Z3. We have to determine the unknown value Xc which is appearing here such that the total current of the circuit will be in phase with the total voltage. So this condition dictates that it is going to have a unity power factor operation means the reactive component in the load or you can say combination of this arrangement has to be zero. And thereafter what will be the circuit current and the power. So as per the statement of the problem Z2 and Z3 are in parallel that parallel combination is in series with the Z1 likewise. So it is reacting into this. Now to make this reactive co component as zero the equation which is resulted is like this. When we are solving it, Xc value is coming out to be 10. When say we will be substituting this 10 ohm into this expression, the Z is coming out to be purely resistive that is 10 ohm. So that particular is the requirement. Once say this is known, we can calculate the current I which is equal to V upon Z and then the power as requested can be calculated like this. So now we can have a summary. So the reactive power factor improvement is done by connecting the reactive power compensator in parallel to the load. Reactive power compensation can yield the unity power factor, no problem as such. Resonance is also an unity power factor operation but there is a difference between the two so that has to be understood. Resonance is achieved by varying the frequency whereas the power factor compensation is carried out at power frequency while varying the let's say capacitor or compensation level. Next we will be discussing the analysis of three phase circuits. You can refer these particular text for further reading. Thank you.